uh, fast track program. Uh, so the point of today is just to really introduce you to what fast track is and how Ultima uh, will be able to help you on your deployment journey. So just bringing up the agenda. So we're going to obviously talk about what fast track actually is, uh, what the workloads are um, in that will, are covered on fast track. Uh, how our framework works and the technical tokens around that. Their migration services that Microsoft offer as part of Fast Track. Then we'll have a quick conversation about the criteria on those. And then we've got some milestones and reporting, and then obviously the next steps and how you get onboarded onto this program. So Fast Track has been around for a while now. Um, uh, it's for partners and Microsoft do it directly as well to try and encourage customers that have invested into online services to actually obviously deploy these uh, products. Fast Track is designed for customers that are technically able uh, to do the deployment themselves and have the time resources to do this, but need a bit more guidance on obviously Microsoft best practices for those workloads, uh, any support, uh, and a bit of project management obviously to keep you on track, obviously with these rollouts. So as you'll see, it's 150 licenses uh, is the minimum for eligibility, and that's on a per workload basis, which we'll go through in a moment. And there's two real questions when it comes to fast track to if it is relevant to you and they are that if you have the capabilities in-house uh, technically to do the deployment and if you obviously have the time um, in-house to do the deployment within the time scales you're going to set yourselves should either of these be no uh, then it would go into professional services of which ultima can obviously assist you with those um, we will try to understand what your technical capabilities are uh, from your fast track manager when you get in contact with them. And we can always do a blend of uh, fast track and uh, professional services so we can really take advantage of the capabilities you have in house and try and keep those deployment costs down as much as possible. So these are the workloads that are available on fast track at the moment as you can see the bottom layer is mainly the security element of the ems suite so i have got an faq that goes along uh, with this that goes into more detail and really outlines all of the subscription and bundles where these licenses are available and what is obviously eligible onto the program uh, it's really good to call out that this is not a deployment program in terms of Ultima will not be doing any work on your environment, have access to your environment or come on site. It is a remote service uh, where we're obviously here to guide you through your deployment and offer you knowledge articles, best practices and obviously that support element as well uh, if you do get stuck on the journey. 150 licenses, as I mentioned before, uh, need to be active per workload. So that does mean you already need to have purchased the licenses before you can be entered into Fast Track. Um, in terms of the method of purchasing licenses, uh, they can be through any program from any partner. You don't have to have bought them from Ultima. Though if you haven't already purchased uh, the licenses, Ultima are able to provide you CSP or enterprise agreement licenses, depending obviously on the size of the company. If you're already using another partner for Fast Track and you're not getting the traction needed with that, uh, then we are able uh, to speak to Microsoft about getting you transferred over to, to us as a partner. So if that is some uh, concern, obviously do let us know and uh, we can look into that for you. So there's a framework that we abide by on the fast track program obviously to make sure that we are you know helping you end to end in this deployment journey so it starts obviously with the planning you'll get allocated to a fast track manager within ultima and they will be your single point of contact going forward um, and all the roles and responsibilities for both parties will be discussed at that initial call uh, and uh, the fast track manager will go through the program obviously making sure that both you both understand it and then going through the technical capabilities and if obviously any outside uh, assistance is needed and as you see it just builds way through obviously that we then help you build a project plan mediation plan obviously enablement so making sure 
that you have all the details that you need to set up all the tenant and connectivity side of things. And when we go into the migration services, which I'll talk about uh, later in the slide, uh, we have to get you to a certain point before Microsoft can get involved uh, for the migration services. And there are timelines and there are items that are not included. Um, so there might be uh, that you can't wait for that timeline. And that's when Ultima can do this themselves through professional services. Um, and then the adopt side, which is obviously really important, you put obviously this new software in place. How do you get your users to actually use it and upskill? So we'll be able to provide you details and uh, training articles and all that kind of good stuff to obviously get your users upskill on these new products that you're putting in place throughout the company. So how the Ultima program is going to work is, as I said, you'll be allocated a fast track manager and you can have as many conversations uh, with that person as you want. And they will be here as your point of contact in terms of how you're doing on the program, um, being able to give you articles, um, advice, and they're also here to help you log these support tickets. So we are allocating a certain amount of technical support tickets to you, depending on how big the company is and obviously the workflows that you're looking at. So each of these tokens that I've put here on the uh, right hand side is per workload. So if you're doing multiple workloads, you will be allocated multiple pots of tokens to help you go through that. Any conversation you have with the Fast Track Manager does not take any of the tokens. It's only if we need to book those technical support tickets. The technical support tickets will be answered 9 to 5.30, Monday to Friday, uh, and they will be by our third line support or our professional service team, depending on the workload. So any, uh, anything like this will be booked through the Fast Track Manager, and she would come back and schedule that call with you. I mentioned about the, uh, the migration services that Microsoft offer. So the migration services are on these three workloads. Uh, there is a minimum criteria of 500 users per workload. And as I mentioned earlier, you do have to get up to a certain point before Microsoft will do the lift and shift. As an example, I've put on there the Exchange Online just to show you that they don't include everything when they do this lift and shift. So we would work with you to obviously make sure that you fully understand what will be left over and what work needs to be done because some of this work will need to be done at the same time as the migration to make sure it's seamless. Uh, and the other thing to point out is if for any reason the timelines don't work or you need assistance with the bits that are left over, again, Ultima can help you do this. Um, the migration is obviously only to active 365 mailboxes and we would go through this with you in more depth depending obviously from the uh, where you're migrating from and obviously into. So if this is of interest to you and you're eligible, your fast track manager will go through this in much more detail with you. So milestones and reporting. So this is quite important. This program obviously is free of charge to you. It's included within the cost that you paid for within your licensing. Um, so we do need to report back to Microsoft um, on certain milestones and deployment as part of the program. So obviously the initial uh, conversation you'll have with your fast track manager at Ultima uh, will really confirm obviously what workload you're looking to deploy and some approximate milestones of when you believe it's going to be hit. You're not going to be penalised if you don't hit these milestones. It's just an estimate so we know where we're working towards on this journey. When we then get to 15%, we need to report back to Microsoft with your confirmation that we've obviously reached that 15% uh, milestone. And what will happen is your fast track manager will put a summary together of all the work that's happened to that point. And then we just need an email confirmation from you to upload to Microsoft with an approximate date of when we think the 40%. And then again, we do that, that process again when we get to 40%. There's some workloads where Microsoft are a bit more interested in the 100% mark, especially when it comes to like Microsoft Teams, especially if you are doing a hybrid to start with, with your Skype environment and Teams, um, it'd be good to understand when you obviously get to that process where you're gonna flip over to a Teams only mode. But as I said, your fast track manager is here to guide you for all of this um, and she will prompt you uh, through the, um, the milestones and the information that are required. 
So to onboard onto Fast Track, we've got a really simple form um, that will be available uh, online. Uh, basically, we fill in the information. As you, as you can imagine, we need obviously the company name, uh, the tenant name, which is the dot on Microsoft name. So you already need to have an Office 365 tenant to uh, onboard onto Microsoft. And as I mentioned before, this is like post sale. So you already need to have purchased the licenses. If you are thinking about this and you haven't purchased the licenses, uh, we have a, an amazing licensing team here and they would be able to assist you with all of that side of things. Uh, in terms of the tenant ID, this is obviously where the licenses are held. And I've put a link there of what my tenant ID is and you can use your tenant name to locate your tenant ID. We've then got obviously how many licenses uh, approximately you're going to uh, have just to give us an idea of obviously what bucket you fall into from that starting screen and then the workloads that you're thinking of deploying. But again, this is just um, to give us an approximation to do the onboarding. You would go through this with your um, fast track manager in terms of the workloads and milestones and dates and everything like that. What will then happen is this will get obviously filled out and completed. We will then come back to you and let you know if you are eligible. So we link this to Microsoft system. So if, if for any reason you don't have the correct amount of licenses or the right license type, uh, we'll come back and discuss that with you to why it, it can't be connected. And once it is, we can then start on that journey. And as you saw from the uh, framework, we would obviously then kick off that, that workshop and how that all works. So just to give you a, a, an idea of what's coming on this program, because Fast Track is going to be really big for Ultima, uh, we are building out a Fast Track portal within our ServiceNow um, portal that we have. So this is going to uh, be like your place to go that will give you all the Fast Track knowledge libraries, and you'll be able to request tickets through there. And you're also going to be able to see a dashboard of where you are on your milestone journey. Obviously, until that point and after, uh, your fast track manager will be here to give you that information and update so you will have a choice to if you want to use the portal or if you want to obviously speak to your fast track manager um, but this is all come in and anybody that is already a customer of Ultima and on service now they'll be able to have access and anyone that's not we would obviously onboard you onto that portal I've mentioned it a few times here about a Q&A. So there is a Q&A document that goes through all of the questions that I believe you might have on the program. Obviously, if I haven't covered any something, then please do let me know. Uh, so fasttrack at ultima.com is the domain. And obviously, if you have any queries on if you are eligible, um, any questions that you might have, obviously come through to that alias and we will be able to assist you. So that was really it. Today was just an introduction. Um, we will be doing uh, more webinars and uh, training events when it comes to certain workloads, especially around Teams, obviously is a big uh, product this year. And for Ultima internally, we are rolling Teams out. So we'll be able to tell you about our journey as well and obviously any difficulties that we found. And just just really, we want to help you deploy these licenses that you've invested in. Um, this whole program is based on you as the customer. So we are, we're putting in these milestones, but they're approximate dates. We are working to your timeline, not ours. The tokens don't have expiry dates on them. So we can go as quickly or as fast as you want to go within this process. So I'll open it up to obviously if you have any questions, um, if not, obviously we can schedule uh, some one to one calls to actually discuss your environment and thank you very much uh, for your attention, I really appreciate it. Right, so it doesn't look like we've got any questions, but what we'll do is we will send you out the recording and the Q&A so you can obviously see the uh, questions on there and obviously the fast track link to the form should you wish to onboard onto our programme. So thank you very much and look forward to speaking to you soon.